Welcome back in, everyone. Uh, Carl Purvis from the Radiant Symphony Orchestra is here. Uh, it's, it's been a little bit. Thank you for it being is. here. Absolutely. Our pleasure, as always. Upcoming 64th season for the MSO. It is uh, just uh, a little over a month away, right? Yes, we start back September 14th. We'll start at the max this year. Oh, okay. A little different. We have a new series, our Symphonetta series. Um, getting away uh, from our main stage at the Riley Center, some smaller orchestras um, and throughout the, the area will be at the max and at the Copeland Center. Symphonetta literally means small symphony. Okay. So we'll have some smaller groups uh, peppered throughout the community and folks can enjoy the symphony in a little bit different ways. Okay, so that starts in September and yep. you were telling me, and I would imagine it's just going to be a variety of things, something for everyone, I'm guessing. Yes, right? as always, um, and, and a little bit more. So okay. we're very, very excited about this season. We'll have our traditional main stage season at the Riley Center. We'll have opening night, Peppermint Pops, and Beethoven in Blue Jeans, as we always do. Those three are our uh, fan favorites. We'll have our new Symphonetta series and our Untuxed series that yeah. has just taken off. Um, we sold out last year for everything, so we've wow. added some more dates. Um, we will begin at Soule, and this year we are shining a spotlight on hometown favorite Jimmy Rogers. Oh, wow. So uh, you can't tell anybody that the symphony is not versatile. We're even doing country. So, yeah, very exciting. We will do two nights at Soule this year, and uh, tickets are on sale. Um, new uh, subscriptions can be had now, and then we'll start selling individual tickets in the next couple of weeks. Jimmy Rogers, I'm trying to imagine T for Texas set to symphony right hey, now. Hey, well, so, I'll tell you, it's going to be yeah, a little bit different. We got a new group coming in from Nashville that's going to be working wow. with us as well. So um, it's going to be really, really fun. Y'all have really made a concerted effort to, I mean, you, you have, it's not just symphony, but you, you, you do so much and you involve youth, you go out to schools, Absolutely. things like that. Um, Miss Kayla's gonna come back in the next and segment talk and talk that, some more sure. about that, but two really exciting things that we're bringing back uh, that we're super excited about. Um, our new Symphony League, um, we are rebooting that. It's gonna be a oh, co-ed wow. group. They're gonna be helping us with all of these new exciting things that we're gonna be doing. And then one thing that I know that the entire community is gonna wanna be a uh, part of our symphony ball is returning yeah. after oh, wow, many really? years so yeah that's going to be march 1st um, in the form of the gumbo gala it's going to be a great um, mardi gras theme and so uh, march 1st so march 1st put that down yes put it down wow. tickets are going on sale and so uh, people are going to want to grab those up really quickly you see a website uh, right there, marinso.org, and the phone number. So, oh, yeah. nice. best Thank thing you. right now would just be yeah. buy ticket uh, packages or individual. What's yep? What's Go the on the thing? website. All that information is there. People can give us a call. There's lots and lots of information there. So many new things. So people can give us a call. We'll help them walk through all of that and uh, and get them whatever they like. All right, Car. As usual, lots of stuff coming up. The season yeah. begins September fifth. Uh, 14. 14. Right? Yeah. All right. Car, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank we you appreciate so much. it. We've still got more uh, coming up with the MSO. But welcome back uh, in, everyone. We're continuing to talk uh, Marine Symphony Orchestra this time with our friend Kayla Fuentes. How in the world are you, young lady? I've been well. How are you, Lindsay? Good. Because Good. Good, the last couple of times you were here, you were a, a little. Yeah, under, I think I think it was the end weather. of the season, and yeah. we were we were wrapping up, and so was my my body and my health. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here talking MSU. We've talked to MSO. We've talked about the upcoming season. You're here about to talk about some outreach events, some yeah. education that I almost touched on a while ago. But, yeah, uh, well, tell us about you it. were trying to have cars steal yes. my segment. Yes, I was. So. <laughs> no, no worries. No but no worries. But y'all are so involved in this community. It's yes. it's not just shows. No, 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 no. Um, one of our favorite parts is providing our shows for our community because there's they are the mission they are the bulk of what our our organization stands for and that's really important to us but in order for that to continue on we have to continue spreading the word we have to continue educating and making people aware that we exist and and how important we are to this community so this season um we actually wrote a grant <laughs> and were accepted and we got it oh, wow. we're so excited to present that our orchestra this season for absolutely free to the community and this is really really big for us uh, we've never had this opportunity before and so this season February 21st 
2025, we will be hosting our orchestra out at the Evangel Temple this time. And that's because the Evangel Temple is huge. It and is. we can get as many bodies as we want in that building. And so, um, yeah, it'll be reservation only. So if you and your families are interested, all you need to do is go on, reserve tickets, and, and attend. We uh, This is the same thing we have every year. So we have our big music fair that happens prior to our show. And that one's really, really fun. We've got art projects. We've got musical opportunities. We have our instrument zoo. So many hands-on activities for the kids to participate in before and after our show. This also means that our school showing that happens earlier in the day for that morning is even more seats. So that means more schools. We don't know from where yet. We're going to start reaching out to a lot of different schools right. that we've never had the ability to bring in before. So uh, so you, you need to sign up for the one at the Evangel. What age group are we talking to kids? Is this Yeah, so, well, or? this is for everyone. It's okay. including adults. Okay, we, we bring so in a troop from, from Alabama, oh, and wow. they are so versatile. They use puppetry. They use dance. They use uh, words, and they create these shows. We're actually doing Peter and the Wolf this year, which is very, very well known. It's entertaining for all people. Uh, for our education morning show that will be schools only, we're going to bring in um, K through about fifth. Okay. It depends on the districts. Mm -hmm. And all to get kids involved with art, with because we have it on time on the news all the time. With kids, when they get involved right. with the arts, they normal, excel. No doubt. Yeah, they excel. No doubt. Yeah, so, and we also plan on being, Cara mentioned our league is coming back this year, which is super exciting for us. It is a group of people who are passionate about music just like we are, and they are going to be assisting us back into the school systems. And this year, we are anticipating the ability to say yes a lot more than we say we just can't at this moment. So with this volunteer base, with every all the programs that we've just created in order to implement different things throughout the community, we're super excited to have the help and we're super excited to reach more people yeah. in our community. No doubt. So that date again in February? February 21st, 2025, 6 p.m. You need to mark that down, of course, and March the 1st. March, March the, the 1st, yes. Too. That so one's going to be really exciting. Two important dates. Uh, you can find that all right there is the website and a phone number. Uh, for more information. Good to see you, Kayla. Good to Thank see you. you. Thanks, and for Lindsay. Carl for being here as well.